Hello and welcome everybody back to the League of Ungentlemanly Warfare with Anno 1404. And, well, I promised you a long time ago a small tutorial series and this shall now be the official start. For the explanation, I am going to... Yeah, for those people who have not yet uh, watched my videos and don't know about the tutorial series. Um, in this video series I'm going to present the build orders that I use. Uh, and yeah, I was actually quite successful with uh, these build orders in the continuous game. Especially uh, season 1 and 2. And I will do the production of every population tier per video. So, for example, this video now will focus on the peasant production, so basically T1. The next video will focus about the citizen production, yeah, so the videos will become longer and longer, depending on how many people we actually have in our city living. And, yeah, and in the end I will make a uh, video about housing. But only at the very end, yeah, you can just hear a small sneak peek. So, let's get started. Uh, this video will be incredibly short, <laughs> since there's not much to build. Um, of course, we need to supply our people with fish, so that they have basic food. Um, you just need to build uh, these things at the coastline. Unlike, in an uh, unlike Anno 2070, it's absolutely enough if they are in the range of a market house. Yeah, for example here. I can now also build them here. In Anno 2070 you would actually have to build them in the harbor area, which you need to expand with harbor offices and so on. This is not the case here. Just uh, just get some coastline into your building area and then you can simply build the fisher huts. Also when you are using them in your main harbor area, then just make sure that they don't block the entrance for ships. Yeah, that is all you need to know about fishing huts. So, but for building them, you will actually need wood. And if you want to build very fast, especially many peasant huts at the beginning, you will need a lot of lumberjack huts. So let's get just here, this big free area. And then let's start building. So we will build first here the market house and we build uh, four lumberjack huts around it. So, and then we can see how they align. Yeah, we are going to build some roads here now. Yeah, of course, between these uh, lumberjack huts. As you can see, uh, it is directly bordering the market house itself. So now we can simply connect these, these huts directly with these streets. So, but of course we are not done yet. Oopsala, maybe I built it a bit too long. Yeah, ju let's just get rid here of a few tiles. I just want to... Okay, somehow the game refuses to click. Ah. What is happening here? Like, seriously. Uh, now it works again. Okay, apparently there was a small glitch. Sorry for that. So, now we can build them directly in here. So, if we build this, we then have only one overlapping tile. Yeah. Same here. And we can also see here. One overlapping tile. And then we connect these with the road, and then, as you can see, we were able to now connect eight lumberjack huts with uh, only very low space requirement. And they will basically be everything that you will ever need in order to get your city up and running for T1. And even later. So I don't think you will ever need more lumberjack huts than this. So, and then the last thing. Your people want also some cider in order to upgrade. Yeah, you can see it here for the drinks. I still have, uh, have a shit ton of it here in stock, but... Let's build it. For the production. So, of course we will need a market house. And then we count the tiles, if you want to do it quite efficiently. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then we build a road on each side. 
and then place four cider farms directly. This is actually the main layout I use for our farms that have only four fields or four orchards. So, and then we place the fields around them. Dun, dun, dun. Two, three, four. As well as here. And here. And now we have four farms supported by a T1 market building. Yeah. Um, you only need a T1 market building. Yeah, the additional market cards would be a total waste here. And also, some uh, something that some people believe, the market houses actually don't need to be co connected. You have an island-wide storage, and it doesn't matter if they are connected by a road. So when this market house here is collecting the cider being produced here, then it counts for the entire island. Yeah, and that basically was it for T1. As I said, incredibly short video. But the next one for T2 will be way longer. So yeah, see you then. Bye bye.